Here is what people think and maybe even you about origami. And today I'm going to prove you wrong. For most folks, origami is just a traditional Japanese art. They also think that it only consists of folding an uncut square of paper. That used to be exactly right, but times have changed. You may have heard about the James Webb telescope that was launched a few months ago. Now I see you coming and saying, hey, what on earth is the link between a space telescope and origami? That, I answer that there is a link between these two, so stick around and listen closely. This is the James Webb primary mirror. It was designed using this origami pattern to make it fall during the launch, and then it was deployed when it arrived at its destination. That was the basic idea, but from there, NASA and other space organizations like ESA decided to make even more of the telescope foldable. This is the reason why a lot of components of this space telescope were made out of origami. But the James Webb telescope is only the most recent one using the paper folding art. It all started when Japan launched the first foldable solar array in 1995, the Space Flyer Unit. It used the Maya Ori folding pattern, and since then, origami began to be used in medical material, a lot of satellite and rocket components, but scientists are also working on micro robots made of origami to treat tumours, cancers, and other types of diseases. The idea is that these micro robots would be injected in someone's body and send data to the doctor's computers or even destroy viruses or microorganisms from inside the body. Alike maths were revolutioned by computers, a famous origamist called Robert J. Lang decided to implement maths in origami, and that has permitted the theoretical possibility of folding anything with a material bond, because obviously with one sheet of paper you can't create two separate objects without cutting the paper, and as a reminder cutting paper in an origami folding process is not allowed. Well, it is allowed, but it's not the common way of doing it. We try to avoid doing that. And by the way, some math teachers now use origami to introduce small children to basic geometry like squares and triangles. It's a simple way of explaining geometry concepts in a fun way rather than the usual school methods. And don't forget to subscribe because I post videos like this one regularly. So origami is now implicated in the modern world, but not only in science. There are many artists who make origami models, some, some of which have now reached an entirely different level of complexity. Now one single model can be made from a very large piece of paper with hundreds of different folds, sometimes even thousands actually. For example, one famous model among paper folders is the Ruyin by Satoshi Kamiya. It's a snake-like dragon. It's one of the most difficult models to fold and incorporates many, many, many scales, dozens of flaps for the head and tail, four paws, and that list just goes on and on. There you have it, a better idea about what origami now really is. Subscribe and share the video. See you for the next one.